unit. Report received of a narcotics sale in progress. Officers needed near Kit Bay. Consolidated shipping. Jeff, I'm here. What do you see? Find the rest. The boss wants them dead. Looks like the demons are moving in on Fisk's territory. You got this? I got this. What you came for? You don't need to kill us too. <clears throat> Fisk's territory is ours now. Not today. <laughs> jumpsuit slimming stay out of my business wait the demons who's their leader keep my men alive and maybe I'll tell you saving bad guys from other bad guys not how I thought today would go
Big guy. Here, wait for the police. Fisk, your men are safe. Your turn. Who runs the demons? Maybe he's there. Maybe he isn't. 
check the roof. I've missed these cryptic fist talks. That just happened? Yeah. I'm getting reports of a helicopter with a wrecking ball? Yeah, things with the demons got complicated. Sit tight, Yuri. I got this. Call you when it's done.
Need a plan. A plan real fast. I guess this is the plan! Come on, Pete, you got this! You got this, you got this, you got this! Please don't screw this up! Need a plan. Need a plan real fast. I guess this is the plan! Come on, Pete, you got this! You got this, you got this, you got this! Don't screw this up! Need a plan. Need a plan real fast! Need a plan. Need a plan real fast. I guess this is the plan! Come on, Pete, you got this! You got this, you got this, you got this! Please don't screw this up! Need a plan. Need a plan real fast. I guess this is the plan. Come on, Pete. You got this. You got this. You got this. You got this. Please don't screw this up.
These masks are so awesome. Where do you get them? Holy oh. Solomon! Cool, thanks. Do they have a website? Yes! Whoops. Hey, Yuri. I caught the bad guys, but... But what? You might want to bring a ladder. Yo, Miles. Hey, fanboy. Oh, crap, I'm late. You coming? Uh, nah, I gotta get to City Hall for my dad's ceremony. All right, tell your pops I said congrats. MJ, did they start the ceremony yet? They're still setting up. Where are you? Got hung up at work. Be there soon. Legit job, you wouldn't need to be criminals. I'm wet. Take these off. Do auto insurers offer a webbing clause yet? Million dollar idea just waiting to happen. but I always get the feeling something strange is going on in that place. All units, officers are engaged in a shootout with demons. Officers needed south of house. There's the sage entrance, and we'll be right out front. <sighs> Sounds like a lot of people out there. You'll be fine, honey. The last time I gave a speech, I was in high school. Miss Steinberg gave me a C minus. <laughs> well, if only Miss Steinberg could see you now. Hey, you got this, Dad. I mean, come on, you saved Spider-Man. I'm pretty sure that makes you an official superhero. <laughs> a superhero? <laughs> Or, maybe I'm just a guy who doesn't give up. <laughs> Come on, honey. Oh. 
Welcome, everyone. And before I hand it off to Mayor Osborne, I'd just like to say a few words. Our city is so, so such exemplary citizens. I think this gang war may finally be over. That, like, I would like, to hand like it over, over? To over? Oh, I'm, I mean, there's some loose ends still to be tied up, but... Loose ends. Well, a truck pulled away from the scene from a company called Consolidated Shipping. Something's not right about it. I just don't know what. Hmm. Well, maybe after this we can grab some coffee. Figure it out together. Yeah. Um... Well, thanks, Jim. Couldn't have said it better myself, but I'll try. We all know that Officer Davis is a hero. But, uh, instead of coffee, maybe we could have dinner instead. I, I could come over, uh, I'll cook. Or we could... You know, meet at a totally neutral location for a completely normal meal cooked by professionals. <laughs> for acts of extraordinary bravery, above and beyond the call of duty, it is my privilege to present Officer Jefferson Davis with a Department Medal of Honor. Phone call, sir. Kind of in the middle of something here, Jim. Sounds urgent, sir. Fine. Congratulations, sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I share this honor with my family. My wife, Rio, and my son, Miles. Without their support, I... I couldn't do what I do. Yes, I've worked many years for this moment. Who is this? Over the coming days, your company, your city, and everything you care about will be destroyed. People will beg you for help, but you won't be able to save them. <laughs> Listen, jackass, I get threats like this twice a week. Why don't you grow a pair and tell me what you want? To watch you suffer. Over there. Ah! <laughs> 
Uh, hurry! Damn it! Hurry! Think. Flipping! Nice going, kid. Are you okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you, are you okay? All right, all right. You sure you're okay? Yes, I'm gonna be all right. I'm gonna be all right. I'm gonna be all right. All right, Lisa. I, I, I'll be okay. I have to go find Dad. Okay? No, wait, Miles. No, Miles. No. Dad's in there. I'll find him. alive. I know it. He was right there. I was right there. Gotta help him. I got you, Dad. to leave.
I'm sorry for your loss. Do I know you? I'm Peter Parker. I was at City Hall when... Look, I know you don't know me, but I just wanted to say... I know what you're going through. Uh, that's what you were going to say, right? Or it all gets easier with time. Or don't worry. It's, it's a part of God's plan. I'm sorry. I was just try trying to help. I know. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. Sorry, Jeff. I'm busy. What's up? Have you started looking for Martin Lee yet? No. I told you, I can't start a manhunt based on a hunch from Spider-Man. But I'm telling you, he's the guy! Get me some solid evidence and we'll talk. Solid evidence. Right. Hey, it's me. Hey. So, what are you thinking? I'm thinking I screwed up. And that kid lost his father. I know you too well to say you should give yourself a break. What about the police? Do they have any leads on Lee? They're not even looking for him. Even Yuri doesn't believe me. Then it's up to us to find him. I've been doing some research. Go to this address. Martin Lee bought a controlling interest in this recycling center last year. You think he's hiding out there? Maybe. We know he's not at Feast. If he's not at the recycling center, maybe you'll find some evidence as to where he might be. Yeah. Good work, MJ. I'll let you know what I find. Oh, one more thing. I talked with a detective about questioning the arrested demons. They're all claiming Martin Lee has the power to, quote, corrupt people. Corrupt? What does that mean? They say it's sort of like mind control. It brings out the negative part of you. It makes you do things you wouldn't normally do. Hmm. Sounds a little far-fetched. This coming from a guy who can run up walls. Hey, Uncle Ben. Miss you. Doing my best to make you proud. Active drug deal reported. Any units in the vicinity, please respond. Report came in from Hamilton Heights. Folks, I have to once again defend myself against the spurious claims from McDonald's. That time. We're at the Spider Man here! Ever-loving stuffing out of dealers is my anti-drive. Attention unit. Pursuit in 
progress of multiple vehicles with massed hostiles. Additional officers report to Spanish Harlem. Nothing like putting my skills to good use. Howard, I think I found one of Pidgey's cousins. Dusty Gray Flex, might have just left a stain on my suit. Claire, guy's a little devil. <laughs> He's a charmer. Better give him a pat on the head and point him towards feet. He'll find his way. No problem. I'll do the same for any others I find. Captain, I've got eyes on a Fisk construction site and their equipment's covered in dust. Just there for show? That's my bad. I want to take a closer look. Think the boss can't run things from inside? They don't know the boss. A lot of people own a lot of things, that's for sure. I thought he was buddies with the mayor. Well, they worked together. The boss never trusted him, though. I guess he was right not to. Hi. I'll tear this place apart if I have to. Didn't see that coming. We got a oh, Spider Man's here. I heard.
sorry, but we're all out of the complimentary donuts! Captain, I've got Fisk's guys and all the probable cause you need, webbed up and waiting. Good job. Fisk thinks he can run things from inside, but he's gonna find out why long-distance relationships don't work out.
MJ's hunch was right. The place is crawling with demons. Gotta take these guys out, then have a look around. Okay, that's all of them. Maybe if I can find where it gets its power from. Yeah. Looks like I could override the circuit. Need my electric webs. Well, that did something. Looks like the circuits need a little more juice. There. Looks like the circuit's still stable. Maybe there's another junction box close by. Gotcha. Almost there. One more box should do it. Must be where they're planning to attack. Wait, these are Osborne campaign offices. All the paths originate from the same address. Lots of high tech equipment. Maybe later I can recycle this stuff into some weapons of my own. Explosives from Fisk's construction site. Truck bombs? This is crazy. Guns from Fisk's armory. This wasn't a gang war. The demons were stealing from Fisk to go after Mayor Osborne. Hey, did you find Lee? No, but you were right. Lee's using this place as a front for the demons. Bomb making, gun running. Oh my god. And it looks like they're planning another attack. This time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. We must have some kind of beef with Norman Osborne. I found an address here. I think it's their staging area. If I hurry, I might be able to stop them. Be careful. Yuri, it's me. Make it quick. I'm busy getting yelled at by my boss. Martin Lee and the demons are planning another attack, this time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. Are you sure? We've had a lot of false leads in the past week. Trust me on this one. I'm sending you the address of a recycling center. You'll find all the evidence there. Got it. I'll get those campaign offices evacuated. But if you're wrong about this, you're gonna help me find a new job.
Consolidated shipping. A lot of guys. I should try to do this quietly, but also with style. He's not out here. Better check inside. Huh. Invoice from an auto shop. Pale horse rides. That's one expensive tune-up. What else can I find around here? They have bases all around the city. This is bigger than I thought. Looks like the demons have an army. As if one deadly glowing whip wasn't enough. I was expecting, but it was definitely not this. Damn, Jay. I think I stopped the demon's attack on Osborne's campaign office. Nice. Finally. No, but I found something we should look into. A place called Pale Horse Ride. Sounds familiar. I'll take it out and get back to you. Osborne's campaign offices. Nice. Did you find me? No, but I found something we should look into. A place called Pale Horse Rides. Uh, sounds familiar. I'll check it out and get back to you. Yeah! 
This is new. No, no, no. This one's mine. All right. I'm executing this son of a... Hey! That's not how we do things. Down! Down! Code SM-1. Whoa, whoa! Before we do this, who the hell are you guys? Code SM-1. Code SM-1. Holding for orders. Copy Code SM-1. I have a visual. Hold for Silverbird. Nice entrance. Solid 8 out of 10. Nine out of 10. Release him. He works with us. Yuri, explanation, please. This is Silver Sablanova, head of Sable International. A private security force. Paid for by Mayor Osborne. Oh, the mayor has a pet army now? Next time you get in my way, I will not be so gentle. Go. We'll talk later. Sorry about that Sable thing. I should have told you earlier, but it all happened so fast. It's okay. We're still best buds. We're not best buds. Well, that took a dark turn. Anyway, Sable has the mayor's ear and unchecked authority. We've searched that address you gave me, found plenty of evidence of a bomb plot, but nothing that leads back to Martin Lee. I'm working on that.
Hey, MJ. Hey, so I dredged up some records on Martin Lee's other business holdings. He's got places all over the city. Huh. The locations line up with a map I found at that shipping business. I'll check them out. Let me know what you find at each one, and I'll work on building a case. You got it. I'm headed to Lee's office at Feast to see if I can learn more about why he's doing this. And what he's got planned next. Okay. Say hi to May for me. Wait, you don't think she's in danger, do you? No. Lee's only got one target on his mind. Norman Osborne. Stable guys might be able to handle this, but I can't take the chance. This is another call from Doc. Peter, I wanted to make sure you're still available. I can't pay you yet, but I've pulled enough strings to keep the wolves from the door a bit longer. If we can get up and running, I know this new version of the project will attract investment. Massive investment. Stay ready. <laughs> Fingers trip across, Doc. <laughs> Glad I was here. Demons were gonna overwhelm those save engines. Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? Uh, me. But I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to, uh, stay busy. It might help him, too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No. Why? I'm just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you, you don't have to. I know. I want to. I should check out Lee's office. Need help with those veggies? I learned a long time ago, you're more help staying out of the kitchen than in it. Pete, glad to see you're okay. Hanging in there. <laughs> this office is locked. How do I get in there? Thanks, I appreciate it. Huh. Never seen that room before. Whoa, what the... There. High voltage lines. What needs this much power? I understand, but the account number is in Mr. Lee's office, which is inaccessible. I will call you back as soon as I can get that information. No, I don't know when that will be. What would Ben do? That room I saw from the crawl space. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. Lee's journal. Bet this fits the lock in the portrait. Huh. 
The shrine in the photo is missing the picture. This is the ghost story Lee's father read to him. About a demon that could only be mastered through balance. Lee's parents. Looks like there's a keyhole in the frame. Hmm. Some kind of puzzle lock. That seems right. What are you hiding, Lee? Lee's giving his powers to the others. How does Lee imbue these with his power? I will... Lee sure is obsessed with masks. Is it a Jungian thing? Like, he needed to pretend to be someone else to let his darkest feelings out? Pretended to be a demon, until he became one. Whoa. This is the folder MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. Creepy. Can feel my power growing. Feeding off my anger. Father would say I've lost the path of balance that he could never understand. The only way to fight a monster is to become one. It's a burn room, wired to destroy evidence. One more. The police had found this. Or May. Don't want to think of what could have happened. Now, how do I get out of here? Hello, Peter. Mr. Lee. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. I can get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. At an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Well, what matters is, you are both safe. Amen. But the bombers are still out there. Who knows what they've planned next? Oh, I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done. Wait, wait, wait!
Captain Watanabe. I finally got your evidence. Head to the Feast Center in Chinatown. What am I going to find? A nice lady named Mae Parker. And some really weird stuff hidden in Lee's office. But listen, he's got another attack planned. Where? When? Still working on that, but I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Oscorp. Probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. MJ, hey. Hey guys, bird watching? Got some pigeons over there. Can't have the ones inside feeling left out. Going down. MJ, I'm at the first location on your list, and guess what I found? Demons? Give the lady a prize. See if you can figure out what they're up to while I introduce myself. something I want as a memento. Drugs? Demons. Looks like they bring in their buddies in shipping containers. Explains how foreign nationals with criminal records are getting into the country. 
MJ, call the police. All the demons are incapacitated. Don't forget to bring me a souvenir. Hey, Yuri, I'm gonna keep checking into Devil's Breath. I need to find out why Lee wants it. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. MJ, hey, just checking in. Peter, hey, can I call you back? I think you'll want to hear this. Wait, why are you whispering? Just in the middle of something. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Oh, sure. I'll even cook. Cool. See ya. Wait. Remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, they had glowing eyes. And I remember Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? Uh, it's all connected. There's more. But I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Yeah. See ya. Dinner. <sighs> what should I cook? This is Control. 
boss? Oh, hi, Doctor. How are you? Parker! Exciting news. Come by the lab. Uh, like, now? This is my defining moment. Can't wait to show you. Cool. Um, I've got dinner plans. Can I come by later? Dinner can wait. You need to see this, Peter. Uh, okay. Be right there. Wonder if this means I have a job again. I guess I can stop by just for a minute. Friends, I've just received an update on Adrian Toomes, a.k.a. The Vulture. Apparently, this winged criminal has fallen ill with cancer, and he's been moved to the RAF's infirmary for treatment, which will undoubtedly cost a fortune in public funds. Now, let me ask you, why do we even have an infirmary at the RAF? It's a supermax prison full of maniacs. If they get sick, let nature take its course. Now, I realize that's harsh, but so is my tax bill. vehicle is under duress from men in mass. Backup needed in the meatpacking district. Hey, Doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Wow. Look at all this new stuff. We really need to get better about organizing our work. Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. Our first volunteer subject, Lance Corporal Texador. Lost his arm overseas and now just wants to hug his daughter again. You've been busy. Just getting started. You know... Until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were when we can make them better? Okay, I think that should do it. You ready? Everything okay? Damn it! This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of 
changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. Uh, add Corp to that, and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short. Huh. No good. Gotta reroute this circuit. Why don't you do the honors this time? I think we did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. Sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. I missed a call from MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. What's that? We're trying to improve the prosthetics hardware. I should review what Doc's been developing and double-check his work. I could 3D print a web shooter. Can't believe I've never tried that. What is this stuff, Doc? Looks like armored plating. Defense prototypes. Fascinating, really. AIM has requested a number of samples of my work. Who am I to deny them my genius? Ha! Ah, kidding, of course. Doc's working on some kind of advanced hypodermic delivery system. Maybe to help with implant rejection? I don't know, that's a big needle. Wait, is this the raft? Are you doing work for the Supermax prison? Indeed. They're soliciting bids to modernize their security grid. Figured I'd try my hand. Lucrative contract, and a satisfyingly difficult nut to crack. Parker, we've been focused on limb replacement. Connecting nerves at severed extremities, replicating the function of lost appendages. But what if instead, 
we gave people something they've never seen. Something straight from the mind. Unchain all of us from the bodies we've been born with, and instead, unleash the awesome power of our minds. Sorry I missed your call. We still on for dinner? Dinner? Oh, yeah. I was calling you about something else, but yeah, we should talk over dinner. Offer still stands for me to come over and cook. Oh, really? Well, oh, I like to take risks. I'm still out, but I'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when I'm home. Okay, talk soon. All right, dinner at MJ's. No expectations. It'll be hard to screw this one up. Guess I'll just freelance for a while until she calls. Okay, so this station collects overflow data from all the others. Yeah, God forbid we waste Oscorp's server space. Anyway, do me a favor and make sure it's running smoothly, or everything these stations do is for nothing. This isn't nearly enough server space. It's close to overloading. That'll trigger a purge, and everything Harry has will be lost. I can't let that happen. Wait, ESU has a backup server near here they never use. That can handle the excess data, but I'll need to realign the transmission dishes to make a link from here to there, fast. The active receiver's easy to find. Okay, now to find another link in the array. Got it, just have to keep doing that. What's taking up all that space on Harry's servers? Looked like DNA sequencing, but that seems beyond the scope of the research stations. Focus, Pete. It won't matter what's on the server if it all gets erased. Should be in view of the ESU server now. Got it. Now I can initiate the data transfer if I hurry. Looks good. Good. Hmm. Let's see. working.
Everything stored successfully. Should be fine until I have Norman assign Harry some more server space. And he'll be glad to when he sees what the stations have been doing. Hey, MJ. All right, I picked up a bunch of stuff at the store. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Swinging over now. Prepare to be amazed. You are not going to believe what happened. So you know that address you gave me? I went there. MJ. I know, I know, but wait. What is this? Just listen. This is the address Pete found. Men are all carrying firearms. What is this place? That office. Might be something inside that connects this to Lee. Need to get back there. Huh? What was that? What dumbass can't put their shit away? Bet it was happy. Martin Lee's really paying the boss? Yo, Rick! The boss wants to talk to you get in here! Yeah. Lee Need to get into that office. Lee. Lee finances the boss's new venture. Win -win. Well, you what are they building? Is this all for Lee? Hey. Easy does it. What kind of vehicle needs tires this big? Where is it? I swear I left it over here. Yo, has anyone seen the 316 socket driver? won't be there. God damn it! I said I'll fix it! You got some stones, Rick. <laughs> Let's see if they break. Oh. 
such a disappointment. And now I need a new welder. for Lee. Here we... GPS trackers. What is Tombstone using these for? All right, boys. Time to move. Get the gear for my office. Time to go. Okay, I want to say don't ever do that again, but since I know you're going to anyway... Here. Take a few of those next time. Nice. Thanks. You know Tombstone is crazy and pretty much invincible, right? Everybody has their weakness. Mine is... whatever you're cooking right now. <laughs> it smells amazing. The chicken curry. Uh, just needs some time to simmer. No dumplings, I hope. You're never gonna let me live that one down, are you? Nope. <laughs> the Great Dumpling Catastrophe. I still can't believe they evacuated the entire building. I know, and in January, too. <laughs> Your neighbors hated me. Yeah, they were pretty happy when we broke up. <laughs> Yeah. So, let's talk about what you found in Lee's office. Well, Lee clearly has issues with Norman Osborne. Yeah, but, but why? I don't know yet. But his next move looks like it involves devil's breath, whatever that is. Yeah, I'll dig into it. So I was thinking, what if we teamed up? What, you want to be my sidekick? Like, a uh, spider girl? Spider woman. No. Woman. No, not a sidekick. A partner. Oh. Not again. Ah. Hey, it's your crime system thingy. Looks like a residential break-in. Charles Standish. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Oh, Oscorp CFO. Wait, you don't think this has anything to do with Lee, do you? Sorry to cook and run. Did, did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? Uh... Where, where do you want me to, uh... Just the couch is fine. <laughs> See you later? Yeah. Hey, it's me. This curry is legit. So what do we know about Charles Standish? Let's see. Chief Financial Officer at Oscorp. Single. Known for his art collection. If Lee's after him, it's gotta be related to Devil's Breath. I'll run a search on everything in that file. Let me know the second you find something. I think Lee might be planning something even worse than City Hall. So, are we partners now? Cause it sure feels like we are. Partners? Sounds good. Okay. See ya, partner.
police look like they could use some help. There's probably more of them inside. You guys stay here. Somebody was in a hurry. Spider-Man! You're hurt. I'm okay. But you gotta find Mr. Standish. Fast. Those guys in the masks kidnapped him and forced him up to his place. He lives in the penthouse. Top floor. Okay, sit tight. Sell it, huh? So glad you're here. I can't find my car. Could have sworn I parked on this level. here too? This building is serious about Tarki enforcement. Ah! 
打不了。Good fight. A for effort. The elevator won't work. They know I'm here. But maybe I can sneak up through the elevator shaft. Should be able to make it up to the penthouse from here. Stay here, my Wendy. Stay out of the light. and easy. Tall building. Fire bombs? Seriously? Move! Uh -oh. Not good. Standish. Okay, now what? Enter your password. He sounds nervous. Maybe I should take him out. Okay, all clear. Hope Standish. Try this again. It's safe now. What were they after? Just financial records. About Devil's Breath? How do you know about that? Why do they want it? I don't even know what it is. 
Mr. Osborne's been pouring money into it for years, but he keeps the whole project a secret. I'm the only one who has any record of it. Not anymore. Looks like they copied some records to a secure server. Payroll information. On a Dr. Isaac Delaney. Who is he? I, I honestly don't know. Down! <laughs> Come on, come on! Wait, the elevator! <laughs> You okay? Yeah. I think so. Good. Good. You know, as elevator shafts go, this is pretty nice. Hey, Yuri. You okay? Yeah, but I didn't get much out of Standish before these Sable guys stepped in and told me to back off. What's the deal? I get the sense all they care about is keeping him quiet. Because he knows about Devil's Breath. Right. Whatever the hell that is. I'm working on that. I think I just got a lead. A lead? You sound like a cop. Don't you mean... Spider Cop? Uh, Yuri? That's fair. Peter, what happened with Standish? He's safe. Okay, good. And the demons? We were looking for a name. You got a pen? Yeah, go. Dr. Isaac Delaney. Okay. Who is he? What's his deal? I was hoping you could tell me. I'm on it. Just give me a few. Oh, and before I forget, you left that tracker from Tombstones at my place. I'll drop it at Dr. Octavius's lab. Let you know what I find on Delaney. It's not like Sable International. So are you guys terrorists or criminals? Because I can't keep it straight. Put me on the payroll. Message from Doc. Sorry to call so late. My mind's bursting with ideas. We've been thinking too small, Peter. Why replace missing limbs with facsimiles when we can improve upon them? People who've lost an arm understandably want it back, but we can give them something better. The human body doesn't need to be our default. We can go so far beyond it. Just some thoughts to conjure with. Doc's really giving it both barrels. Hope he doesn't burn himself out. Towards pigeons. Hey, do you have time to check something out for me? No, but if you ask nicely. Just got a call about a suspicious looking box on a rooftop in Hell's Kitchen. I could call in the bomb squad, but if it's just some kid's science project. Yeah, I know. Budget crisis, yada yada yada. So. <sighs> Will you please check it out? There's the magic word. I hope it's some kid's science project. Man, I miss those days. School projects are so much easier than real-life projects. 
43. Reports of a hostage situation aboard a civilian bus. Officers needed on scene in Rosevale. Hmm. Looks military grade. Weird. Who is this? Wrong question. The correct one is, can you stop the bombs I've planted? Mystery man's got recon points spread all over the city. This computer's tracking bombs around the district, and they're about to go off. I gotta move. These bombs aren't going to defuse themselves. Okay, take care of that one. Find the last bomb. Ten seconds. Done better. You gotta be quick. Bombs could go off any second. Better hurry. So close to perfection. Nice work with the bombs. Is this some kind of sick game to you? Games are for kids, and I'm a professional, and I get paid like it. Guess your client wasted their money. Sometimes information's worth more than money, and I've learned plenty watching you. MJ, what did you find out about Isaac Delaney? Check out the picture I just sent. Which one is Delaney? I don't know. I guess you'll have to go to the party to find out. Good thing I already have a costume.
Attention all units. We have confirmed reports of an active bomb. Any officers near Hell's stacks, please copy. Spider-Man, thank God. Demons have rigged explosives all over the building, but we can't get close. Point me at him, officer. I'm here to help. We've located the primary device. Got it. Keep your men back. I'll radio when it's clear. on the primary device. Bad time to get sweaty palms. Got the key. Oh no. Failsafe tripped. Timer's just engaged for the other bombs. Gotta move quick. Officer, always ready to do my part. Mr. Call from Aunt May. Peter, I spoke to Miles' mother, and she loved the idea of him working here. The poor woman's grieving herself while trying to be strong for her son. She needs some time to just grieve. And he needs to see that life's still worth living. He literally didn't that see that coming. That was a very thoughtful suggestion, Peter. The kind that would have made Ben proud.
transport unit, the truck carrying an armed explosive is evading pursuit. Additional officers requested near Flatiron. Chase through the city, right guys? Fellas, come on! No turn signals? Gonna have to write you up! Here's your stuff! Demons are toast. They climbed a bomb in the truck. Gotta disable it. These demons must have crazy insurance premiums. Don't relax till we get the cuffs on them. Thank you. 